Here's a pro tip for everyone who works with multi-channel audio files in Studio One. And this really shows how many little details the Studio One developers have put into this to make working with multi-channel audio files as convenient as possible. So let me drag in a multi-channel WAV file, and this will automatically set the channel format to 7.1 because it's a 7.1 audio file. Let me just zoom in so that we can see this a little better. Here are our different channels in the audio file. Multi-channel WAV files have a fixed channel order. That's a standard that all audio software should follow. However, sometimes other programs, like video programs, still use a different order when exporting multi-channel files. And then we have a wrong channel order when we import that audio file into Studio One. Are we lost now? No, because there's a really easy way to fix this. Right-click on the audio event, and here at the bottom, where we can see the speaker mapping, we can click on this little box. And this opens up the mapping settings for that specific audio file. On the left, you can see the different speakers. And on the right, you can see the channels of the audio file. And Studio One even shows us a little preview of the actual channels. And here at the top, we can decide if 7.1 is correct, or if we want to have a 5.1.2 format, which will update our speaker labels down here. And what could be easier to change the order of the channels than just dragging them to the order we want, like this. And as you can see, the channels on our track are changing in real time, so it's as easy as it could be to get them in the right order. And even better, if you know how the speakers are ordered in the audio file, then you can use this Swap Sides button. This button allows you to see the channels in the order of the file and assign them to the corresponding speakers. Or if you screwed up the order, just click Reset to go back to how it was in the audio file. So in the standard view, you can move the channels of the file. In the swap view, you can move the speakers. So if you receive multi-channel audio files to work with and the channels are not in the correct order, no problem, just change the channel order with this handy mapping editor. And another tip, if you have the inspector open, you can pull up the event section and then you have the same option here and you can open the mapping editor window directly from here without any menu. If you found this video helpful and you want more tips and tricks for Studio One, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell to never miss a video in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.